Yes. Good morning, sir. Welcome to this lesson. We want to learn the structure and boning, which we have two terms, the term structure and the term bonding. The subtopic is electron transfer and ionic bonding. Before we start, I need you to assist me understand what is matter because we are studying substances which is matter. You, yes? Matter is made up of small tiny particles. So she's saying that matter is made up of small tiny particles. We agree or we disagree? We agree. Another reaction? Yes? Matter is, is not only made up of tiny particles, it is also made up of subparticles, which include protons, neutrons, and electrons. Now, I have a problem with me. Before we start the lesson, I'm informing you of my problem, which I presume at the end of the lesson, you will have assisted me to solve my problem. In our houses, we have spiders. And the spider in our houses, they live in webs. Now, and the web by the spider, which we normally uh, see, that is the web by the spider. So I want to make an artificial web using a thread that will mimic what the spider makes. Now, what I'll make, this is an artificial one, and then we have the natural web. Now I'm asking, if I make this one in my house, will spiders live in them? So I want you to, in your groups, discuss and give whether a spider can differentiate between the two, whether you can just say, wow, well, I've got a free one. So instead of making one, can I make one for the spider? Two minutes, please. Discuss and tell whether the spider can live. Insects, it can trap the insects in the natural web 
why when why when it tries to trap in the artificial one, it cannot since the natural one is sticky and it can it can cause the insects. So you're saying that this one cannot trap insects. Yeah. Clap for her. Why did you say that? We disagree because in the natural spider web, the, spi the spider web is elastic. It can stretch and contract. Therefore, it can trap insects. So, so you are talking about trapping insects? And it can move freely. So you are talking about elastic. This one is not elastic. That for the spider is elastic. Yes? The second group? Actually, no, the spider cannot live in an artificial spider web. This is because the spider web it is smooth and stretches, while the artificial one it does not stretch and it is rough. So you're talking about it is smooth, while the one with thread is rough. Yeah. It's okay. The last group, why did you say? Yes? The web is made of uh, silk. Silk? So silk varies and it, uh, it uh, yeah, it's a very strong web. Yeah. 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 But I see this and this, they tend to agree that uh, elasticity is about expanding and uh, stretching and the compression. Now for me, I don't know the answer. I don't know who is right and who is wrong. So I want after this lesson, we'll be able to determine whether the spider will live in it or it will not. Now, I want us to... In our groups, I'm giving you another activity. The activity which I want to give you you choose a leader who is going to control you as a group, choose a secretary to write for you the data, also choose, I will say, a spokesman who will defend your data because you are going to present your data which you have done to us. So I'm giving you one minute to choose and I would like a person to volunteer in each group but if you are chosen, agree. So one minute, choose leaders in your group. <laughs> The song which I present to you, it will assist us in what we are about to do. So I want you to listen to the song, and at the end, you may...
The song describes what we are about to do. We are just singing, but we have to do. So far, I want somebody to tell me what you have heard from the song, other than, oh yeah. What, the last, what have you heard from the song? Yes? I've heard that ionic bond and covalent bond are all chemical bonds. Oh, about, you have heard that word chemical bond? Back group? Yes? When a metal and a metal and charge, since it has different charges, when they bond together, it's like this. Okay. Let's see the song. Five minutes. 
limits. You are taking what you represent. Then you discuss your answer. Do not mean I want people to cooperate. One should be reading and discuss the one thing together. Explain what you are doing there. Uh, we kept eight electrons in the second energy level because, as I said, the, uh, the electronic arrangement is two, eight, seven. We said from two, then we kept eight. Now we'll keep seven. You can see you 
minimum counts that you have kept seven of them. And that's the what you did. You clap for them. So they are fighting for the sweaters. Yes. The one with the many two yes. from the one who had the two. Yes. So to get the sweaters to the one with they are they are trying to fight there. Oh. They also the one who don't sweater fight to even be this So the one who the sweater was taken from was comfortable yes. later on. Yes. Okay. So in order to form an iron it was there. They were happy. Yes. Or they formed a union. Yes. Thank you. Clap for them. The last group, you have two minutes. Tell us what are you carrying? They are carrying the sodium and chlorine. Yes. yes. How do you make it? Um, we burnt those. First, we, we, made, we made a hole in this and... Uh, what were you using to make holes? A nail. We burnt the nails uh, inside the, the bottle tops to make some holes. Yes. Then we started sticking. Sticking them? Yeah, sticking the sticks, yes. yes. To make the bones. Yeah. To make the gigantic structure. It's okay. Yeah. So actually you just pierced holes to the bottles, join them. Uh, to make the bond because we have a chloride and sodium. Sodium will add the one extra extra atom and then the chloride needed one. Needed one. So we make the bond to then the chemical. Now it's okay. Thank you. Now, is there any group which is is asking another group a question whereby you want them to clarify? One group questioning another group. Thank you for the activity. Now, 
this, this group made chlorine. So we can call this one the chlorines. That group you made what? One member to tell me? Sodium. Sodium. So you are the sodium. Yeah. Now this group is trying to join sodium and the chlorine. They are saying that sodium, no, the last group was trying, one girl had a sweater, another one had seven. The one with a sweater, with one, gave the one with the seven sweaters. So you, you represent, your model has one electron at the end, can I see it? So you will become like that, the one with a sweater. So from their video we have shown that the one electron was lost to the one with the seven. This group have seven. Now, I want the group leader to come and donate to this group from your model. The group leader receive and donate one electron. They will remain with none. Just donate and then you go back with none. Just as the, that group did. Now that group has come and donated. Show them what now the remaining one. This one has gained. This one has lost. Now, this group was trying to show how they would form. Now, these are the chlorines. That group, after the activity, they were happy and they formed. I saw what they were trying to. They formed. What did you form? Now, when you gain from the video which you saw, when they lose, how do they become? Now, what status do they attain when they lose? Be loud? Positive. Positive. Who has lost here? Sodium. So those are the positives. Yes. The one that loses gains what? Negatives. So these are the negatives. Yes. Now, this group can form one group with the other one. Then, which is a mixture between the positive one? The yeah, negative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want you to join, come and form one group here. So the sodiums come, join with the, the chlorines. So we have formed one group. That group has joined this group by coming and donating. Now, this group will try to tell us, using their model, that now what this group has formed is this structure. This is the structure they have formed by coming together. Sodium chloride is just common salt. We normally see the common salt. So what they have formed is the common salt, which is crystals. So one crystal of the common salt is the one, sodium and the chloride. So they have come together and formed. So this union is an ionic bond between the sodium and the chlorine. They form unit bond. This group was trying to show us why does sodium donate? Chlorine has seven, sodium has one. Why should sodium give one and the chlorine not give seven? They were trying to fight, and the one who was powerful. Let us watch this video. Group number three. Where is your gadget? The leader to bring me the gadget. Yes. Now, the secretary, come and uh, write your data. Secretary group number, all the groups, you draw your structure very fast. Draw it before we watch the video, very fast. All the groups, the secretary will be close.
Collaborate because it's a group work. Assist each other to give us what you did. The group members, you agree with what your secretaries are doing? Why? It is group work. Assist each other. seconds. Is that what you did or what you are doing now? The group, do you agree with your structure? Yes. The group agrees, I also agree, but it's okay then you can see. The group agrees. Any other group, if it does not agree with what you have done, for me, I do not agree. Why? You also support me. Come and rectify it. No, you don't talk. Now listen inside you. To be very fast. you lost, you also did not agree you are lost. So you draw after losing. This is positive, it means you have lost. Are we together? Yes. Now that one will summarize what we have done. So that means an ionic bond is formed between Two ions. Which ions and which ion? So we have various metals. We have just used sodium. We have also other metals. We have group one, group two, and group three. Magnesium can also do the same what sodium has done. That's why you see magnesium can donate two. Sodium was donating one. The work of nanometers is to receive. So we have other various examples like the fluoride. We form the chloride can form a bromide. Now, from the last group, what can we learn from your activity? An atom uses an electron to form an ion. The second group, very fast. 
We learned that if you want to be stable, you have to donate one. Donate one? The third group? The first group? A myonic bond is formed when a positively charged atom and a negatively charged atom. Very good. So I would wish to thank you for this lesson. I also want to give you an assignment. We have just done for aluminium. So I want from your KLB revision exercise, you do for me aluminium <laughs> with no life. You also do for me calcium with oxygen. You also do for me magnesium and oxygen. So that is the assignment. I want to be done. So you repeat exactly what you have done for day two. Is there a question? No. Silence means no, no question. Yes, you have a question, yes? Yeah? Yes, just oh he's reminding me we have not concluded. Now we have formed various, we have used various materials, we have used various unique materials, and we have come with various bonds. That means whenever you use a unique material, you come up with a unique item. So it means various items come up, various materials, depending on the bond they form. Yeah, that's why you cannot form a cloth using iron sheets and the weight comfortably. You just use either cotton silk. So meaning you cannot form that one. Are we together? Yes. Thank you. Yes, we end the lesson. Till next time, wish you the best. Amen.